بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. I begin by mentioning the name of God. All praises and thanks belongs to God, and may He send peace and blessings upon the Messenger of God. You may be asking, why do I keep beginning my videos with these phrases, Bismillah, like beginning with the name of God, praising God, and sending salutations and, and uh, peace upon Prophet Muhammad? The reason is because Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said that any matter that is any any matter of importance that is not began with uh, God's name, or that is not begun with God's name, whichever word is the correct word, someone tell, comment below which word is the correct word, which word is grammatically correct, began or begun in a sentence. But any matter that is not begun with or began with uh, mentioning God's name and uh, praising God will be cut off from blessings, meaning that you won't have its complete blessings and the full support of God with you. So by mentioning God's name before any task, like drinking water, eating, entering the bathroom, getting into a car, starting business, cooking, so on and so forth, by mentioning God's name and or praising God at the beginning or in the beginning, you will receive much blessings, com the complete blessings, and you'll receive the help and support of God in whatever task that you are undertaking whether it's eating, drinking, so on and so forth. And in the Quran, Allah, He said to send salutations and peace upon His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in doing so, the Prophet Muhammad said that we will receive reward, reward in return. By sending continual salutations and peace upon Prophet Muhammad, we will be receiving reward, inshaAllah. So now you know why I begin with these phrases. Now in, t in this video, we are going to be discussing the six articles of faith. The six articles of faith. Meaning, the six things that make up faith. The six components of faith, of Islamic faith. of The, th the things that we believe in. The things that we believe in all stems forth from six articles of faith. Everything that we believe in, everything that we believe in, excuse me, everything that we believe in stems from these six articles of faith, in short. And inshallah, we're going to be discussing that in this video. All right, I got a piece of watermelon because I didn't eat the whole day and I'm feeling a little bit. Um, heavy alhamdulillah so uh, let us begin inshallah bismillah the first article of faith is that we must believe in god as muslims we believe in god we believe in allah the one and only creator of all things alhamdulillah that's the first so we must believe in allah the second is that we must believe in all of his angels. Angel Gabriel, the angel of death, uh, angel Michael, the one who is in charge of provision, the honorable recorders that are on our shoulders, though we cannot see them, they are there taking notes of all of our actions and words. All of the angels. We must believe in all of God's books, all of his books. The books meaning the four main the four main books are the Torah which God gave to Moses, the Gospel which God gave to Jesus, the Zabur or the Psalms God that God gave to uh, David, and the final of the four the Quran which God gave to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon all of the pro all of the prophets and messengers. Also, some of the books you can say are the scrolls. They're not really books, but they're scrolls of Moses and uh, Abraham and Moses. Um, and Alhamdulillah, these we believe in. Anything, any of the books that God mentioned in the Quran, we believe in. The fourth is that we must believe in God's messengers, all of his messengers. 
from uh, from uh, Noah to Abraham to Moses and the prophets as well. Prophets and messengers: Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Aaron, Job, uh, Joshua, um, Zacharias, John, Jesus, uh, Solomon, David. All of the prophets, all of the prof prophets and messengers. Excuse me. The final one being Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Inshallah, from now on, I'm going to eat before I have class, before I start class, because, subhanallah. <laughs> the fifth is to believe in the final day, to believe in the last day, meaning the judgment, the day of judgment, the day in which we will all be resurrected, the day of resurrection. It has many names: the last day, the day of resurrection, the day of payback, recompense, so on and so forth. The day in which all of us will be held accountable, held accountable, excuse me, for our actions. Those who believe and did righteous good deeds will enter paradise, and those who disbelieve and did evil deeds will enter hell. We believe we have to, we must believe in that. And the sixth is to believe in destiny that that God had decreed, has decreed everything, everything good or bad. God has decreed it all to exist. So we believe in destiny. If you got into an accident, it was decreed by God. Submit, be patient, and don't let that evil incident hold you back from progressing in life. If you attained uh, a scholarship to Harvard or Oxford University or Yale, etc., know that it was decreed from God be grateful and not boastful and don't think don't think excuse me that you have some sort of you've been given some sort of sovereignty on earth out of your arrogance be grateful alhamdulillah um, rabbil alameen forgive me like I said I'm still holding on to this piece of watermelon it's my favorite food bismillah Inshallah, I will be doing a review. I will be doing a review um, of the six articles of faith because um, I'm a bit drowsy right now because, or since, see, I, my words, I can't even find the right words to use since I haven't eaten until these, until now, these two pieces of watermelon. Uh, so forgive me for that. These six articles of faith, of faith, memorize it. And if you do not, if a person does not believe in one, one of these things, one of, one of these, then they're not Muslim anymore. Because all of this was revealed to us by God and conveyed to us by His Messenger. So if you disbelieve in one of these things, then you are in a sense saying, God, you're wrong. Prophet Muhammad, I disagree. Well, if you say that God is wrong and you just believe, and you, you know, um, don't follow Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, then your Islam is null and void. So, memorize it and learn more about it in depth. Each of these points, each of these roots uh, have multiple branches that stem stems out from them. So, learn them. If you love, if you want to go in depth in, in each and every single one of them, why not? You know, it's very fascinating and interesting and amazing and beautiful as well. It'll make you cry because all of these are true. Alhamdulillah, well, Rabbil Alameen. Again, please forgive me. I am going to sleep. I am like sleeping right now as I am speaking, so forgive me. I'm going to go make myself a sandwich or something. And then I'm going to redo this video, make it shorter. And... Uh, Alhamdulillah, you'll benefit. Wassalamu alaikum.